everybody. Welcome back. Today is video number four of our Getting Started with Pro Tools. In this video, we're going to talk about how to record MIDI, how to quantize MIDI to your grid, how to set your grid, editing the MIDI. So let's dig in. Thanks. In order for me to get this audio out of Pro Tools, I have to send it to my other computer with Logic. So I'm using this Send. These are aux sends. We can send them to effects. We can route things anywhere. This goes to my output in Logic. So that has to be on here. So rather than going through this and looking for it down here, that's a pain. Option, drag. Just like the key command in a Mac, option, dragging, option, clicking, does all, option, dragging, copies, and drags. All right, let's do some, do some programming. So let's go with the kick first. So we make sure our pre-roll is on and our post-roll is on. You can take these on and off, toggle through that by using Command K. So I'm gonna set this so that on bar three is where I start. Now, we can record a bunch of ways. We can hit the record button, and that puts it in standby, then hit the play button. You can use the space bar and the control bar to record, or the easiest and fastest I like is the three key on the numerical keypad. So I'm hitting the three key, I'm gonna record the kick, and then we're gonna quantize and edit. And we don't hear the click, so that's not good. So let's put the click back on. Now bar two, two. Okay, cool. So we know that some of that's gonna have to be fixed. So here's my quantize window. So how do you get the quantize window? Easiest way is to hold the option key and hit the zero on your keyboard on the upper left. So this was eighth notes. So I'm gonna hit eighth notes. This is highlighted. I'm going to hit apply and you'll see them shift around a little bit. Now we're gonna expand the view. So in order to expand our view, option bracket right expands your view. Or you could do option key held down and scroll if you have a scrolling mouse or trackball. And we'll take a look and a listen, see what these sound like. Okay, so they're both fine. Let's do a snare. Area highlighted. If I put the cursor here and I, and I start to record, it will record and keep going until I stop. If I highlight a certain area and I put it in record, it will give me the pre-roll, it will record within the area that's highlighted, and then it'll keep on rolling. So if you want to punch in, that's a good way to go. So we're just going to do this for now, and let's get a snare. Key three, and recording. All right, so we'll quantize that. That's quarter notes. All right, so I'll move. And now we're going to listen for. So bar one sound a little better than bar two, so I'm going to delete that. Now, let's say we want to make this fill in this other area. We can option drag if we want. That's one way. We can do the tedious way, which is cut, paste, cut, paste. Or the way I prefer to do is option R is repeat and then repeat three times. And then it takes up the same space. Now we're gonna do hi-hat. So we have two bar pre-roll, we have a post-roll, now I'm gonna hit the three key, find my hi-hat, here we go. And I'm going to quantize these to quarter notes. Now you can see it went out of record, even though the cursor kept moving. I'm going to highlight this area. And I want to use that area, that, that third measure. I want to separate it. So Command-E separates an area. So I'm going to Option-Drag, Command-E there. I'm going to hit the repeat. And that one wiped out these. And here's what we have. Don't forget to Command-S, which is save.
So thanks again for watching these Pro Tools tips videos. We do appreciate it. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Also hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so we can let you know when we have more like this coming. Thanks again.